there's nothing worse for really for the moms and dads than to think that on Christmas morning they're not going to have things for their children. Well, one of the things we found out as we had, as the store has developed in 15 years is that, you know, there are so many uh, gently used, as we call them, pre-loved gifts and toys that can be shared on Christmas morning. And we asked children in schools all over the community to go through their toy chests to find those pre-loved toys that they had, things that they loved that still could be shared with other children on Christmas morning. What I like about it is to give back to the community. It's overwhelming the giving that the people in Lexington give to one another here. It's, oh, it's just love is what it is. It's beautiful. And they uh, matched us up with, the, with our personal shoppers. She was extremely helpful and I had to do it, you know, for my kids. I kind of feel bad that I had to ask somebody for help for Christmas, but she didn't make me feel like, you know, I was a bad mom or anything. She actually made me feel like, okay, well, everybody goes through hard times, so it's just your turn, and here I'm here to help you through it. And when we were going back and forth through the, through the rooms and picking out the toys, she'd be like, oh, well, my kid's like this, or you got a three-month-old, so maybe, you know, lights or something that makes different noises. They not only receive gifts, they receive a gift of love from the people that work here. Uh, I met Miss Ramsey almost 15 years ago, and I stopped volunteering at uh, the Catholic Action Center, and she helped me to get off the streets, and that's why I want to give back to the community. People who go to help at the store, they see the difference they're making. I mean, it is a concrete difference. So we've got the need for 2,000 to 2,500 volunteers during the busiest time of year. We have many people that are so committed. We probably have 800 families that they consider this part of their Christmas. That's, they always come every year. You can be a part of this and it takes everyone's heart and hands and donations to make it happen. You can donate anytime, year-round, over at 614 East 7th Street, God's Net. We also need people to always help sort all year long, to be prepared to help work the 20th and 21st, 22nd and 23rd of December. One of the big differences of the Christmas store is that no one has to have their paperwork. They don't have to have the children's birth certificates. They don't have to have come and signed up early. Many people get left out of other wonderful, wonderful programs because they don't have the right paperwork or they don't think they're gonna need the help. And then it gets close to Christmas. People who thought they were going to have what they needed for their children and find that they don't know that they do have a place to go shop with dignity and their children will have gifts under the tree. I just wanna tell everybody there, thank you. I mean, they took their time out in a busy holiday season to help others. If I had a chance to volunteer for the Christmas store, I would definitely do it. Families don't have anything. There's plenty, you know, to people shared. This Faith and Community Christmas store is truly a, a miracle at Christmas, and it's much bigger than any of us.